it's the end of the first day, but the beginning of a rigorous process to reduce the number of aspirants of the MPP flag barship position from 10 to a maximum of 5. The first day of the voting of flag bearer hopefuls of the NPP saw three stalwarts of the party appear before the voting committee, which is chaired by the former Speaker of Parliament, Iran Mike O'Quain. The first was the former Trade and Industry Minister, Alan Chamanting, who spent close to two hours here at the party's election and campaign office at Kukumlimli. I've just had the opportunity of going through the voting process for presidential aspirants for our party and I had a good interaction with the committee. I mean, it's all about making sure that we work together as a party in our march towards victory 2024. Beyond that was the former trade and industry minister's decline to answer questions on what many believe was the vice president Dr. Baumia gate crushing his address at the Asin North constituency. Presidential candidate hopeful on the ticket of the new patriotic party, Kennedy Japong, as well as other party officials, allege Dr. Baumi and his team intentionally gate crushed Alan's speech at the party's Asin North rally. <laughs> The vice president was made to wait till Alan Chamatin started addressing the gathering. Then he was ushered in through the front to distract his flow. Alan was then prompted to stop talking. Alan Chamatin, however, declined comment. It's not heard from you on the Asin North incident. Thank Can you get a quick reaction on that? Thank you. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Meanwhile, the Vice President, Dr. Baumia earlier while addressing the party delegates on the final day of his greater Kratois, called for a clean campaign devoid of acrimony. We have a clean election. We are one family. We are one family. Let's all stay united. When we, the contest is over, we will come back together as one family. Just as the former Trade and Industry Minister Alan Chimanting exited the building after he was through with his vetting, arrived the energy expert Kojon Safwapok, who also took his turn to face the committee. Everything went well. The conversation was smooth. I answered all the questions they asked in the best of my ability. When you finish speaking and people are able to clap for you, then it means they are impressed with what you said, you have told them. And after the end, I got the clapping. About 10 minutes after 2 p.m., was when the Vice President of the Republic, Dr. Baumia, arrived to take his turn to face the voting committee. The Vice President, who arrived this time not in a bus, had his arrival preceded with the blocking of the Susubibri Street here at Kukumlemli. <laughs> Well, three down, seven more to go in this exercise that is ending on the 6th of July. Noble Cross Biannan, NPP Election and Campaign Office, Kukumimli, Accra.